What's good everybody, it's JC Sims here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video showcasing some custom content and mods that I use to have functional convenience stores in my game. Now, I know it seems a little random, but I like to use convenience stores to kind of beef up my gameplay a little bit with different scenarios and I'm gonna show you what kind of objects I put in my convenience stores for sale. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications bell on so you get notified every time I post a new video. Um, I'm very excited because I am actually using my new microphone if you cannot tell. I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit off. I, oh, I'm looking very shiny today. I am not sure really anything about audio but this is a much nicer microphone but I don't know how to get like audio levels and stuff right so if that's a little off I am sorry enough of me babbling on let's go ahead and get into the video okay so we are here at my convenience store build and oh like this might be my favorite build I've ever built I had so much fun building it um, it's so realistic looking and yes this will be available on the gallery whenever you're watching this video under my gallery ID, which will be linked down below in the description bar. So um, let's just jump into the first set of objects. And the first objects are these gas pumps. And these are part of the Highway Petrol set by Ravishing. And this set is so amazing. It's pretty much all for show, but it comes with a lot of objects that let you build any type of gas station so you have like these parking stops um, hazard signs you actually have a um gas station sign but i went ahead and used a different one you have this gas station sign a bunch of different stuff comes with this one so i really like these like i said they're completely like decoration fun to look at but the fun thing is they do light up at night the screens and stuff will light up at night so i love how detailed they are i love how maxis match they are and they're just amazing so the next item is the actual gas station sign and this is by the creator um the verona relapse i'm gonna link it down below but it just comes in two variations you have the shell and the chevron so I love those. I love that they're in Simlish. A lot of the convenience store like gas station CC that I was finding was all very alpha, um, not very good quality. So I like that this one is just very like blendable in the game, even though it's like real life brands and whatnot. And then the sign that matches that is from a completely different set. It's from the lighted wall signs set and it is from the same Verona girl. And this is just one different sign but there is a bunch I put my cheats on I never have my cheats on um, this sign just comes in a bunch of different I think this is like McDonald's Chevron Family Dollar Walmart I love the um, Simlish one thing that I always see I always see the amazing builds of like Walmart's and targets and stuff but it's always in English and I I love having Simlish in the game because everything else is Simlish, so that's just a little something that I like about those. Next, just to touch on it, um, obviously if you're going to have a gas station, you need cars. So all of these cars are from Lori Sims. I'm not going to link them um, one by one. I'm just going to go ahead and link their website, but every single one of these cars is from there. They're a little alpha because, you know, they are real cars, but they're very high quality nonetheless. Like the interiors all look pretty nice. I'm like like hoping and praying like clinging to my hopes of getting cars soon so let's hope but yeah all these are from there um i also have that parking stop there i love to look at this i love how realistic this whole lot just looks so um we have like a tesla model x um i even put like a little <laughs> like oil spill on the ground. So those are the cars, Lori Sims. The Highway Petrol set also comes with the ATM. I was going to put the um, Little Miss Sam ATM that I featured in my financial mods video, but I just went with the one that is not functional just because I didn't want to add too many mods in here because I do have a few to show off. <laughs> um, but the next set I have is from Oni and pretty much it is the 7-Eleven um, set. So it comes with a lot of stuff that I used in here. All of these are the objects that downloaded into my game, but this one is just a like credit card poster. It also comes with different ones as well as that one. This main sign is actually 
Let me get this lighting back. The main sign that I have up here is also from the 7-Eleven set, and then I just sized it up and put it on the one out here. This banner is also from the 7-Eleven set. I love like the times. And then this banner, which is showcasing chicken, gas station chicken. If you like it, I love it. Okay, so those are um, some of those. I also have the vending machines from Around the Sims 4 in here. I featured these in my functional offices video if you wanna check that out. And also from Around the Sims 4, I have the grocery posters. They come in a few different swatches and I love putting them on the window. So very realistic, again, love the Simlish. And then I also have some newspaper stands out here from the newsstand set. I love the newsstand set. I actually want to try and build a newsstand, but there's not any like functional functionality to it. So I like to build stuff that I can actually use. I don't like, you know, we have enough set filler in the game, so I try to make all of my community lots useful. So if I'm gonna try to make a, um, usable newsstand we will have to see and then i also have these supermarket posters and these are also by verona i honestly did not realize all these were by the same person but obviously they are the queen of supermarket items so that is all for the outside of the convenience store I lied, I included something really silly, but these are electric scooters from around The Sims 4. Um, living in Miami, you see these out around a lot, like a row, the little lime scooters, and these actually have the lime logo on it. Like, how awesome is that? And then you have like the jump ones, the Uber ones. This is so cool. I didn't even realize I had these in my game. And then I was like, what is this? And then I realized the lime logo was on it. Like amazing so this is what my convenience store looks like on the inside when you first walk in very convenience store-esque i love it i basically just wanted a place where my sims could come and grab quick objects so um i don't really know where to start i guess i'm gonna show you some more items from the newsstand set you have like the taller ones and then i put the ones that go on the floor right in front of the counter like you would see when you're going to check out sometimes so i love those they all come in different swatches as you can see the ones um the magazines down here come in all kinds of different swatches so i love having a variation and then while we're over here i'm going to show off the sim mark collection and the sim mark collection is by tinkle <laughs> um, so it comes with a lot of objects that you're gonna see around here and the first one is this sim mart lottery ticket display and like who even thinks of this stuff like monopoly it's all in simlish it looks so good i wouldn't even think to put stuff like this in the game it's not functional i would love um functionality to be able to if you have seasons you can play the lottery i would love to be able to come here and play the lottery on this i really need to get into modding in the new year maybe that's something i'm gonna put on my list to just sit down and try because i taught myself how to use like photoshop and how to edit videos and stuff i don't see why i can't teach myself how to like code and mod so 2021 look out i might be making my own mods just saying just putting that out there in the atmosphere but this is the lottery ticket display. And then you also have the cigarette display lamp. Now I'm not condoning any cigarette usage. I, I don't care what you do with your life or your lungs, do what you want, I'm not condoning it. But what is a convenience store without, you know, a cigarette display? So this is also from Sim Mart. I kind of fixed them into the wall because the graphics aren't the best, um, but, it's the only cigarette display I could find that didn't have English on it, and I don't really mind it. Um, again, I would love to make my own, but this will do for now, so I love that. It only comes in this swatch. These food displays, which are so bright you can barely see inside of them, are also from the Simmart collection. Again, they're a little alpha, but I do love the idea of it. So you have like the hamburger, random foods, burritos, hot dogs. Um, these are not functional. None of these objects are functional yet, but we are getting there. Um, they're just here for show, and I think they really look nice and bring that convenience store feel into the place. Also in here, I have these cash registers from around The Sims 4. These are a part of a set that comes with like a bunch of different cash registers, but I love just like the classic one with the scanner and the credit card and whatever you call this, and it functions just like a normal um, 
cash register. I will show you the functionality at the end, but I cannot get into like the build buy mode if I do not come here with the store owner. So um, I will show you more of the functionality at the end. These next items are gonna require a full blown script mod and that is the base mental mod. I'm not gonna go over on camera because it is kind of naughty, um, but if you would like to see an overview, definitely just type it into Google. Um, we have some vape cartridges cartridges and cigarettes and we have some fillies you know to roll a little blizzy with so these everything in here has been set for sale and if you have the base mental mod you can actually use these and like smoke them so um i have those sitting up like this is where you would get your jewel or whatever so i had them sitting on these racks by ravishing that's the ravishing racks are not included i just thought they looked really nice on this clear stand so those are sitting over here the base mental mod is amazing you can kind of tweak it to have what you want so if you don't want it to get too crazy you can take certain stuff out but i will be linking some videos and overviews down below if you would like some more information on that mod so if we come over here to like the food section i have reused some mods i know go ahead and shame me i'm sorry um i just think that these mods work so well and it's just kind of another way of me showing you how you can use these mods so these are all from the shop chef collection which i did in my better community lots video they're all by ravishing and this is where the functionality comes into play if you have not seen that video basically these are objects that just let you get like a slushy or a pretzel or a hot dog or um drink so cool you know you want to come to the um convenience store you can do that and i'm sorry this is nancy Landgrab. um again i can't go into build mode unless i go with the people that own it and i make the land grabs own everything so that's just kind of how these work you have a pretzel slushy and then you have all of these drinks down here that you can buy so that is that and then also the coffee from the shop chef so um it's just a way for you to buy more stuff that's like readily available and i also put the quick meal fridge in here as well so you can buy a quick meal so you know a convenience store it's there for convenience and now your sims can just come over here and get a snack if they want to or pick up their little vape cartridge it really does not matter um on top of the eating station i have the menu boards and these are also by verona as well and it also comes in a variation like this so you can use these objects if you're trying to do like fast food um restaurants and stuff as well a lot of the items that i try to show off in these showcases are versatile and that's why you might see me using them like two times or three times not only am i trying to show you new mods and stuff i'm trying to show you how i use my existing mods in my game to expand my gameplay for different storylines and scenarios and stuff so this is just another way i do that i love having convenience stores in the game so these um cold storage displays are also from the oni 7-eleven collection as well as these walls these come into variations i completely forgot about them so i love these again they don't look too alpha and i feel like they could easily blend in with a lot of different types of retail stores on the cold storage display i have a bunch of items and these items are all from the scco cooking overhaul mod i really was struggling with if i was going to film this video because this is how i use it but this is a whole separate mod so i'm going to be coming out with another mod just overviewing this if you want to download this lot from the gallery and have all this stuff stay here you have to have that mod installed so here you have things like butter and yogurt orange juice water um soda tyson chicken nuggets um burritos pizza rolls pizza rolls um honestly i'm not sure where i left off because i filmed the rest of this video my camera shut off and yeah we are back here so all these items are completely functional with the scco mod you come in here you get what you need you take it home you put it in your fridge you consume it throughout the week until it runs out 
you get it it's like normal life all of these items are from the scco mod you cannot find these just in the build by mode you would have to type in box of butter so i went ahead and filled all the shelves with the stuff so if you have the mod installed and you download this convenience store from the gallery all the shelves will already be filled everything will be set for sale ready for you to go but if you want to build your own it will be a little harder because you will have to play like trial and error just typing in like food items and seeing if it is an item that comes with this um, overhaul so those are the cold items just some other items that come with this mod we have all this coffee over here we have um i know this is regular it's not showing up this is regular decaf and like robust we have black and green tea you can buy cereal we have some oatmeal down here rice we have actual ketchup and like hellman's mustard this is mayonnaise hellman's mayonnaise um sugar flour okay this vinegar is from a different set but um we have all of that over here part of this set we have like lay's chips um animal crackers marshmallows peanut butter and jelly ramen crackers so all of this like i said you it's for sale you come buy it it's actually edible through the scco cooking overhaul my next item is from around the sims 4 and it is these um bar bottles and we have a lot we have like smirnoff malibu bacardi um we have patron jack daniels you can really get the party started up in here we got bombay we got bailey's what you want um there is a little bit of a difference so the top one and the bottom one are just like clutter items they are not functional but the bottles in the middle you can get turt on sims now these are completely functional so as you can tell when i'm going to place it it's not sitting on the floor this is not a glitch um this is supposed to go on a table and this actually acts as a functional bar if i came over here and took this off of sale you can make certain drinks. This is from the SCCO mod that allows you to have custom drinks, but I'm not gonna get into that today. So those are those, comes with a lot of options, and like I said, I am like realistic to a fault in my game. I will make my Sims come and like get a bottle and then drink it, and over time I will like delete it and then make them come back and get another one. Like, it, it's bad, I need help. I don't know why I'm like this, but I love realistic gameplay. We stand, I just love it. I don't know, don't know what else you want me to say about it. Over here, these Highway Petrol um, gas cans are from the Highway Petrol set. Again, these are not functional, just looks nice on the shelves. But um, these are from that retail therapy set from Ravishing, like I said. But these let you buy upgrade parts and pet medicine. And then over here, I have the normal medicine. So if you want to see um the mods more in depth check out my better community lots video where i actually go in and show you kind of most of the items and what you can do with them so this is my aisle of clutter i see all your comments um on my toddler videos saying yes you do want a clutter video and i think i said in my pets custom content showcase that instead of doing a video on clutter because that would take too long every custom content showcase that i come out with i'm just going to showcase some of my favorite clutter that goes along with the topic of the day and since we're doing convenience store i have all these quick little items so this is from the washing up collection from around the sims 4 i have the dishwashing liquids out right now but the whole washing up set comes with things like sponges and dish racks and things like that just to give you a more realistic scene over on the sink with like all your sponges and stuff but you know i've seen in the gas station they sell little stuff like that so i have those and then i also have the laundry collection from around the sims 4 which comes with like some tide detergent and then we have like some laundry softeners so just generally random things um it's clutter these are clutter not usable but again i am disgustingly realistic where like if my sims move in somewhere and they don't have anything i make them go out to the store and buy this stuff i like try to avoid build buy with my sims as much as possible 
possible. Like, I will make them go to the store physically. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's because I haven't felt the feeling of, like, hanging out in the general public. I don't know. And then the last row is just all of this dry dog food, which I showcased in my Pets CC video as well. So just some clutter. Um, this top shelf, I'm actually going to take you back here. This is from the janitor collection at Around the Sims 4. I added this in for fun. I like putting janitor's closets in my builds like this, but it comes with like the janitor cart and the janitor cart also has slots in it to put stuff and it has like a wet floor sign, a mop, and it also comes with the all these objects on the first level. So like baking soda, bleach, sprays, toilet cleaners, stuff like that. So this is all my clutter that I wanted to show you for this video. I think this is all fitting. Like, I just wanted the convenience store to be somewhere where your Sims can come get quick stuff. It doesn't have all the stuff that you could get at a grocery store, but it has most of the stuff that you can get kind of in a pinch. So my next object is from around the Sims 4 as well. I know, I know. But what is a convenience store without the snacks? Nothing. So we have snacks. We have Oreos and Pringles, and these are completely... Um, usable and edible these are not decorations so these can be found in the miscellaneous appliances section and you can come eat them so Nancy over here is gonna come and get the stuff and um, she will sit down and actually eat her Oreos so I thought that was a really nice touch you can come here and buy a pack of Oreos for yourself if you have the munchies at night you know if you were playing with the base mental mods you know your sim might need that so we have Oreos and Pringles um, these dishwashing packs also came with the washing up set. So over here in the medicine section, this is the one by Ravishing, but below it we actually have condoms and pads and tampons. Of course, it's a convenience store. You never know what you might need. So these are from the Wonderful Whims mod, and I'm not going to go through the mod in detail today. That is going to be a video coming on Friday or Monday along with the SCCO cooking overhaul in depth if you'd like to see that but um, these are on sale so my sims have to come buy their condoms and you just put them in your inventory and you use them when you need them so um, we have those and then we also have um, pads and tampons which are also from the wonderful whims mod which again not gonna go over it today just because it's there's so much in it it deserves a video to itself but I did want to include these items again if you cannot wait for my video, you can go ahead and search for an overview, but um, the mod is pretty straightforward and easy to install, and you will need that mod if you would like the tampons, pads, and condoms to show up in your game. So final thing before we get into gameplay with this convenience store, the Oni 7-Eleven set does come with a shirt, but it does not have Simlish on it. Like, ugh, like I, so I won't be using it. Um, it does come with a Simlish name tag, so, Kind of disappointed that they couldn't just put the 11 in Simlish like they did with their sign, but the option is there if you do want it. Okay, so we are now back at the gas station. Um, looks like Nancy Landgrab is leaving her shift in her 7-Eleven shirt strutting down the street like, yes, girl, yes. Oh, okay, but we are back at the convenience store with my sim just because I wanted to show you some of the functionalities of this. So I love that people are actually walking in the store like this guy. Oh, this is a girl. Um, it looks exactly like people that I would see in the convenience store in my hometown, but um, the way that I like to use this. So let's say that um, we wanted to come in here and buy a little BM vape from the base mental mod. So instead of just going to the phone menu um, or like the buy mode, we would come to the convenience store and a hundred dollars. Okay, we can just buy the item for a hundred dollars. And he is behind the counter, but don't mind him. And um, we come in here and we actually have it down here. We can go ahead and vape from it if we choose to, but um, that is just a little bit of this mod. We also have like the cigarettes up here. We can buy those. And then after you buy them, they are in your inventory. And apparently I am not keen on doing that again. <laughs> I did not like it at all. So I really like that. We can also, okay, it looks like everyone is getting it on tonight because everyone is over here eyeing these condoms like, oh. So um, you can also, $106. No wonder everyone in San Marcino is having babies. Like, 
$106 for some rubbers, oof. But um, $106 and now these are in our inventory so we can unpack them. And we have 21 cyan, well, we have a bunch of different colors um, of different condoms. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bottle. And then um, let's go ahead and pick up some pizza rolls and some water. Um, the chips over here are in all types of flavors. So barbecue, cheddar and sour cream, salt and vinegar, which is the best. If we have a problem, take it up with your mama. I can't do anything for you. Salt and vinegar chips, like, so um, let's go ahead and buy a bag of those. And then just because he has a sweet tooth, we're gonna go ahead and buy a red slushy. That he will obviously go ahead and have now. Showed that off, like I said, in the Better Community Lots video, but I love the cup and just the um, graphics of the slushy. I, honestly, this is one of my favorite machines. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all, but um, yeah, love that slushy. So now that we got all of our stuff, we can go ahead and head home. And now that we're home, we can go ahead and pull what we bought out, even though we only really bought two things. We can go ahead and eat these chips now because there's no point in just keeping them sitting on the counter. But with the SCCO mod, you will come home and unpack your groceries so we can open the water as well. It'll be right here, and then you can drag them all into your refrigerator. After that, you can go ahead and go to the microwave, and down here you'll see pizza rolls. But since we bought them at the convenience store, it's zero dollars. And pizza rolls, it's a new thing. So there's a lot of new stuff with the SCCO cookie mod. I wasn't trying to like get too much into that because I am gonna have a separate video. I just wanted to show you that with um, mods like that and the convenience store, you can really make functional stores like this. So yeah, I think that pretty much sums up everything that I use to make functional convenience. Okay, so that is going to be it showing you guys how I create my own convenience stores using some custom content and mods. I just wanted to show you how small things like being able to make your own functional convenience store can really open up some new layers of gameplay. You can also do things where you own your own convenience store, do like a rags to riches type thing. I remember um, one of my save files, um, I have a family who owns a chain of convenience stores so they're like super loaded so it's just little things that really open up different levels of gameplay and I think stuff like this really adds to the realism aspect and it's kind of those things that you don't really think about like convenience stores I've never really thought about that in the game so if you like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn your notifications bell on and I will see you guys in the next one bye